and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another currently inked video for you. And what we'll do is we'll briefly go through the pens left to right. We'll go through the pens in a little bit more detail. And then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the classic pens LM1 in the flame red. We have a classic pens LB5 in the Kawasaki. We have a Visconti Wall Street and this is in the stack celluloid and we have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown we have a Visconti Belgica we have a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue we have a Pelican M800 Grand Place we have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk and we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side so let's go and look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So we have the beautiful Classic Pens LM1 and this is the flame red version. And this is basically made out of what's called diffusion bonded acrylic. So it's acrylic or resin and it's basically pressed together to create this kind of line effect that you're seeing here around the pen. But this is one of the pens that I wanted a lot and I picked it up at the London Pen Show from Sarge, the one man pen show and this is a pen that I do like a lot. It has a Bock nib on it and this is an 18 karat gold nib and I'm not entirely too sure if it's a fine or a medium nib. I believe it's a medium nib but I've listed it as a fine nib in my collection uh, but I do like how it writes it's a cartridge converter pen and in the size of my hand you can see here that it's actually quite nice and you can post the cap if you want to but I don't post normally but that to me is a beautiful stunning pen and then we have this classic pens and it's the LB5 and this is in the Kawasaki finish and this really is a lovely brown pen and again it's this made of this again this diffusion bonded acrylic where the acrylic slabs or, or pieces are pressed together under pressure to fuse together effectively and create this stunning sort of look but this is a really nice pen this is made by Sailor for classic pens. So you will see here it does say Sailor. And it's effectively a king of pen. You can see there uh, LB5, Kawasaki. But this really is a beautiful pen. So I'm so glad that I was able to pick this up. Because it's a Sailor king of pen, it comes with a Sailor nib. And it's a 21 karat gold nib, but it's a beautiful nib. And this is a medium nib, but it writes a little bit more to me like a fine nib, medium to fine. And normally you find that with a lot of Asian pens that the nibs tend to write uh, one nib width narrower than they say they are. So if you have a medium in a Japanese nib, it's typically going to be a fine Western nib. You can post the cap as well. Again, I don't do it, but it's something that you can do. But it's really, really good uh, in my hands. And this is a cartridge converter. Both of the classic pens are cartridge converters. I don't believe they do any other filling systems. So um, you are stuck with cart cartridge converters there. And the uh, LB5 actually comes with a Sailor version. And then we have the stunning Visconti Wall Street. Now this is a limited edition. It's the 2006 version and this really is a stunning stacked celluloid. And again, I do love these stacked celluloid pens. So so this is a pen that uh, I am so glad I was able to, to pick up. You can see here the size of my hand, it's pretty good. It's a power vac filler. It has a double reservoir and it has an ink window here. Now this one has a 23 carat 
palladium stub nib so it's a 1.3 millimeter stub but this writes very well and i do love the visconti stub nibs all of the visconti stub nibs like bock nibs in general because they're made by bock all have tipping on them whereas most stub nibs typically do not have tipping on them so that's one thing that i do like about the visconti stub nibs and then we have the Visconti, and this is the Opera Master River Thames, and this is a pen that I really do like a lot of. It's a lot of grey and blue. It's made of the same material out of the London Fog Cap, but it's it's not a demonstrator. Um, this was a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive, and this really is a stunning material that you can see there. So I'm really glad that I picked this one up. Now it is a Paravac filler, it's a double reservoir and you have an ink window as well. And then in terms of the nib there, again it's a 23 cap palladium stub nib. It's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and you can see the tipping there. And again, this writes very well. So for me, I do like these Visconti stub nibs. And then we have the Armando Simone Club and this is the Bologna Extra Arco Brown. And again, this is a really, really lovely pen. It's a beautiful size, a beautiful weight for me. It's in the Arco material. And you can just see how, if I zoom in a little bit here, this Arco material really does shine. And it's polished with a beeswax compound. But you can just see just how well that, that picks up. So this comes with an 18 karat gold and it is a magic flex nib and this is a bock nib but you can see there's a rose gold nib but it really is a nice writer quite wet and you can see that in the size of my hand it's actually a very very large size pen. And then we have this Visconti. This is a Visconti Belgica. Now I haven't written with this one for a little while but I have decided to ink it back up and I really do like this pen. It's a lovely gold overlay and for me that is really stunning and it's called a Belgica because it basically signifies the Belgium coming of age and it is a beautiful beautiful pen and this actually has a lovely 18 karat gold and it's a broad nib so for me this is actually a really nice writer very wet very broad and it's actually a good size it's a power vac filler it has a double reservoir in there as well so you get two and a half millilitres of ink in those double reservoirs. So that for me is a really nice writing pen. And then we have this smaller pen. It's a Pelican and it's an M805 and it's a vibrant blue. Now you may be able to see here but this cap is semi-translucent. So And the whole pen is actually. So now you can see here you've got the piston here got the section here and you've got the nib so this is a really nice blue and it took me a while to hunt this one down but I managed to, to find a retailer that had this pen and it's a bit of a blue cracked ice effect going on there in the pen now I was able to luckily pick this up with a 18 karat gold broad nib uh, I do prefer the pelicans broad nibs in the M800 series range of pens because they just seem to write better for me than the mediums or the fine nibs. I find them to be a little bit more feedbacky or scratchy. So for the broad nib I actually do like that a lot. And then we have this Pelican and again it's uh, an M800 series. Uh, M800 is the gold, M805 is the silver trim. But this is the Grand Plus, and this was another one that spoke to me. And again, I do like this pen a lot. 
I love the pattern. I love the little hints of blue in that material there. Uh, almost makes it look a little bit sort of like a lake there. Now, the nib itself is an 18 karat gold. And again, this is a broad nib. So I do prefer that as a writer. In terms of the size of my hands, and these M800 series pens, you can post the cap. They do post quite deeply. Uh, I just don't need to post them personally. But again, this is a beautiful pen. The cap is a little bit semi-translucent as well. And then we have the Visconti Luxor Obelisk. And this is a very special pen in my collection. Uh, I love these hieroglyphs that are Maquillé painted onto the pen. The pen is then lacquered. It is a beautiful, beautiful, stunning pen. And this really is a lovely pen. It's made of ebonite as well, which is a little bit different. And you'll see here the length of the pen is actually quite long. And it is a power back filler and it has a double reservoir as well. So again, this holds a lot of ink. And then the nib is a 23 cat palladium nib there, and it's a medium nib. But that nib, again, writes very wet and very juicy because it's a Visconti nib. But I do love this pen. Now, I don't cap or post this cap because at the end of the day, it is ebonite, it's maquillé, and it's also got a lacquer on there as well so I don't want to damage that so I never do post that cap and then we have the last but not least the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild or Wild Side and this is a really beautiful pen you can see here this sort of lightning effect that goes on on this pen now, I do love how wet and how broad uh, and a little bit of bounce to the nibs on these Armando Simone Club Bologna pens. In terms of the nib, it's the standard nib that you would get on one of these. So it is an 18 karat gold Bock nib and it's the Magic Flex nib. There you go, get that in focus. And it comes with an ebonite feed. So for me, again, this is a really solid writer. It's a very large pen as well. It's a pneumatic filler and it holds a large amount of ink. So for me, this really is a good pen. So that's my currently inked pens for this week. Let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the classic pen LM1. Do an ink swatch here. And you can see that this actually writes quite wet. So it's a classic pens LM1 and it is the flame red and it is I'm going to put a fine nib. I think it's more of a medium nib, probably. But uh, and the nib is an 18 carat gold nib. I'm pretty sure it's a medium nib. Unfortunately, um, they do not stamp uh, the nib width on these nibs. And the ink in here is Blackstone. Luru or Yuluru red and that is a nice red quite a dark red and we have another classic pens and I would say I, I think both of these are effectively medium nibs but because this is a sailor nib it acts like a fine nib so i'm going to call it a fine nib but this is a classic pens lm1 actually sorry lb5 
getting carried away with myself there. And it's the Kauseki. Problem is, I was reading the above line. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is a, a fine nib, and that really is more of a medium nib. And this is a 21 carat gold nib because it is a Sailor King of Pen nib. The ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku Sakushi. And that is an ink that I normally pair up in that pen and I do like it a lot. And here is the Visconti Wall Street. And immediately you will see here that this is a super fire hose of a nib. So it's the Visconti Wall Street. And it is a 1.3 millimeter stub and uh, it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine aqua lagoon which is actually a really nice color ink it's an ink that I used to use a lot and I don't use a lot now and I need to get back into using it more and then we have the next pen and again <laughs> this is a super fire hose of a nib. It's a stub nib as well. So this is the Visconti Opera Master River Thames. And again, it's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and the ink in here is Akamon and it is if I can get this right Defts Blue Blur it's effectively uh, a washable blue as I understand it. The next pen is a lovely Arco and you'll see here again this is a super wet nib. Again just how I like my nibs to write. So this is an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown and it is a medium it's an 18 cat gold nib running out of space there now the ink in here is Akamon SBRE Brown. The next pen is a fairly wet pen, quite a wet pen, but not as wet as the other three pens there. But it's not quite as broad. So this is the Visconti. Belgica and it is a broad and it's an 18 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon Dutch Masters I'll abbreviate that it's Cerulean Blur And that's really more of a blue-black ink, I would say. The next pen we have is the Pelican 
and again, like these pelican nibs actually do write quite wet. And it's a broad nib as well. So it's a Pelican M805 and it's the vibrant blue and it is a broad 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku as a Geo which is as I understand it morning glory and then we have another pelican again this nib is quite wet so it's a pelican M800 Grand Plus and it is a broad nib and it's an 18 cat gold nib and it's inked up with J. Herben Lee de Te or Tea Leaves. You can see why that brand is actually quite nice. And then we have the stunning Visconti Luxor Obelisk. Now, this is a much drier nib. It's a medium nib. But I find this works well in a lot of notebooks. So it's a Visconti Luxor obelisk and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib and the ink in here is pilot Oroshizuku con pecky and again that is a lovely lovely ink And it used to be, probably still is one of my favourite blue inks, I would say. And then we have the, last but not least, the Armando Simone Club. And this is the Bologna Extra. You can see these nibs are quite wet. So, Armando Simone Club. Bologna Extra Wild and it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon Deneweg Gron So, I think let's go through the pens inked up one more time. So we have a Classic Pens LM1 Flame Red in a fine, maybe a medium nib, 18 cat gold nib, inked up with Blackstone Yuluru Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 Kauseki with a fine 21 cat gold nib, inked up with Pilot of Washizuku Sukushi. We have a Visconti Wall Street with a 1.3 millimeter stub and it's a 23 cap palladium nib inked up with diamine aqua lagoon we have a visconti opera master river thames in a 1.3 millimeter stub palladium nib inked up with akamon defs blue we have an armando simone club bologna extra arco brown in a medium 18 cap gold nib inked up with akamon sbre brown we have a Visconti Belgica in a broad 18 karat gold nib, inked up with Akamon Dutch Masters Cerulean Blur. We have a Pelican M805 
vibrant blue in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku as a Geo. We have a Pelican M800 Grand Plus in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Jehaban Lee Dete. We have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk in a medium 23 karat palladium nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Compeki. And then we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akaman Denoweg Gron. So there you have it. That's my currently inked for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.